Hey, it's Tuesday. Welcome to my house. Uh, we have power shortage at our Magnolia campus, so we, I can't be in the office the other day. I, I have too many things to get done. I need my, my, my power today to get things accomplished. So uh, I'm here. Welcome to my house. I'm glad you could be take just about three minutes with me and talk about some things that are going on. One, COVID-19 is still going on, but it's not going on as radically as it was. Yes, more tests are showing positive because remember, we're testing millions of people every day. But the number of positivities, the percentage rate continues to go down. The deaths have dramatically dropped down. So uh, those, there's good news on those fronts. Don't let the media scare you. Uh, just pay attention, be wise, look at the data yourself and you'll see what's going on. So I want to encourage you about that. I want to encourage you seriously, man, to be in church as soon as you can. If you're not back, Sunday was awesome. Our numbers continue to go up a little bit every Sunday. We're probably running 80 to 85% of our regular attendance already. And so I'm excited about that. And I praise the Lord for that. We don't take that uh, lightly. That's a blessing from God. It shows the commitment of, of people and the hunger of people to get back to church. I do want to encourage those of you who have the compromised immune systems, you know, be patient, wait on the Lord. You'll hear from God when that time is right. But there's a whole lot of folks that still could come back that really don't have a compromised immune system. They're healthy. Listen, I'm 69. I'm going to be 70 next year. Uh, uh, I don't feel that I'm in that compromised group, not because my head tells me I'm still 30, but I know where my, my physical well-being is. And I'm back and I'm encouraging others to come back as well. So Come on, be a part of what God's doing. September the 13th is a big regather date. I mean, man, I'm shooting for 100 plus percent attendance in our worship service on that Sunday. And I think we'll do it because many of you are already inviting people and bringing people. We still have everything scattered out with the, the safe distancing guidelines, the distance between the rows, and you sit and put several chairs between you and the next group. You'll be fine. It's it's a great time. You're safer here than you are at Walmart. If you're going out to, to eat in Walmart and groceries and everything else, You'll be safer at church than you will be in those places. And hey, what better place to be when the people of God, worshiping God, you're needed. And I'm needed whether you realize that or not. We need each other and we need to be in fellowship with one another. It's a necessity for our spiritual well-being. So come on back to church. Uh, prayerfully, there won't be any power outages. There, there's a terrible power outage. We continue to remind you to pray for our friends in East Texas and Orange and, and then on into the state of Louisiana. We have friends and family in Louisiana. It's do some of you. They'll be with that power for four weeks. Uh, we've been like that in Houston before. I really don't want to get there again. Uh, but remember, as a child of God, there is no power shortage with God. If, the, if you're experiencing a power failure in your life, you don't have the power of joy. You don't have the power of abundant living. You don't have the power of peace in your life. And I encourage you to check the breakers. You know, somewhere you've broken something. The circuit's been trip to keep the flow from coming through. And it could be simply uh, an issue of disobedience, or sometimes it's just spiritual lethargy. We just become lazy in our spiritual walk in life. Sometimes, you know, it's the absence of fellowship with other believers. Sometimes it's the absence of spending time with God and being in his word. But hey, you don't have to live your life that way. Just come back to God. He is such a God of grace and mercy, no matter where you've been, what you've done. He promises that he will wash you and cleanse you and make you whole and clean. So I encourage you, come back to the Father. Say, Lord, I need the power of your Holy Spirit in my heart and life. So I confess my sin. I confess my failures. I confess my unbelief. In Jesus' name, wash me and forgive me. I pray and encourage you to do that today if there's a power failure in your life. And let God do something glorious in your life. These are, these are critical days. We all need to be on fire, pumped up, radical, and passionate about our love for God and our love for people and our desire to reach a world that needs Jesus desperately. Well, that's all I got for you today. God bless you. Keep the power on. God is good. Amen.